Before we start, we want to give our January Dive Studios patron shoutouts to Sherish and Muganathan, Young Gyeong Kim, Malia Amir, and Megan Fagenbush. Thank you guys so much. All right. Woo! Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Real, hosted by me, Ashley. Me, BM from Card. And me, Peniel of B2B. Woo! All right. And today we have our guest, Junie, back in the house. Woo-hoo! Yes, sir. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank welcome you, thank back. You, thank you. All welcome right. Back. So, if you guys yes. don't know, Get it is a Real. New week, guys. So, if you guys don't know, Get yum, Real. Yum, 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 yum. It's a podcast where we get honest about the ups and downs of young adulthood, but from our perspective. And today is exciting because we're talking about first. Ashley got hella excited. She was like, I'm doing this one. (laughs) I don't care. You can start whichever one, but I got this one. First, first anything, you know, whether we've um, ever done or, you know, the first time trying something. (laughs) What? (laughs) <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I feel like you got Sorry. some things in mind right now. No, no, like, I don't. What? I don't. Okay? What did you just say? I the don't first, even know. Okay. She's first, like, first time like trying or like, you Beep. know, like our first okay. time. <laughs> all right. So uh, yeah, whether uh, the first time was a success or a fail, you know, talking about all of our <laughs> first. Mm. This is actually inspired yeah. by the popular YouTube format. So we're going to explore all of our big first times together. Exploration. What's the YouTube format? Like video. Oh. I All think right. a lot of people do oh, this really? video. All yeah. right. oh. Guys, remember to follow us on our socials at The Dive Studios. Mm-hmm. You can also leave a comment on our full episode videos at youtube.com slash dive pods. And make sure to uh, subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And leave a five-star review. 500 five stars. Or 500. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> first… First, why are you so first. giggly? Like, Yo, what, what do you what? have in mind? For why did you want to talk about this so badly? <laughs> Look, I never seen you smile this big before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like she's got something in mind. No, yeah. I don't. Anyways, <laughs> um, there, I just, I, there has to be a reason. You were like, I want to do first. Well, because the other ones were hard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's the only reason. Mm-hmm. Well, we gonna well, find out. Kind of. Okay. Continuing on from last week's topic, which was about twenties, I feel like we've uh-huh. done a lot of. Things for the first time in our 20s, Like right? what? Like what? <laughs> like driving uh, and like… You drove uh, for the first time in your 20s? I don't even drive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my license. But for you guys, maybe. You know? I drove when I was 16. Yeah, I started driving when I was 16. 16? Yeah, 16, I got my license. Wow. wow. That's you, the, I drove um, a bit late. That's like, oh, you, yeah. you drive too? I, yeah, but like 21. You have your license? Yeah, but not in Korea. Oh. Mm. I got my license in Korea. Do you, Matthew? Damn. Nah, I'm oh, about okay. to go get that next week. Okay. Yeah. I need to learn to drive for real. Mm. It's scary. It is. Well, it continue, is. Ashley. What, yeah. what What? first yeah. do you want to talk yeah. about? Like like driving and… Mm-hmm. and yeah. Who was your first love, guys? Mm, now Ashley's getting okay. giggling. Shoot. I had my first love when I was 16. I had my, my first, first love. love. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but the first time being in love, I think I was like 12. That's really wow. early. Yeah, sixth grade. With who? How do you know? How do you Shoot, know? Are you, I, I told you guys, didn't I? The girl that I did when I was Chunky Monkey, she was dating my like my, my, my best friend. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I thought yeah, that was yeah. just a crush. Well, I was like… Yeah, I, I'm a strong crush. But mm. I don't know. I couldn't… I, it was very close to love though. I like, couldn't get it off in my mind, you know? Uh-huh. I was just like, damn, like… I need her to be mine, but I can't do that to my best friend. Um, I don't. I don't know if I've had my first love yet. Dang. Ooh. Dang. So I like, don't know. What, what? What? How do you know if you're in love? Oh, I think you just like, know. Yeah. It's okay. Just well, feeling. then I guess I haven't had my first love. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does that mean? Does, <laughs> <laughs> does that, hey, does that mean you've never told your girlfriend that you love them? No, I definitely have. did. That would. That means… I feel like that means you love. But he might not I mean, take it that seriously. Like… Oh you know, like… Like the… I like mean… No, like no, 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 no. That's not I what I mean. I love you. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love you. Like… Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little yeah. bit. <laughs> no, but it's like… I don't know. I feel like when you're like in high school and everything… Like you just throw that word around so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
True. True. And like, okay, like, bye. I love you. Goodbye. Mm. Mm. But what about the relationships you were in after high school? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't think I have. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if I have, but you said you just know. So, but I don't think I know, so I'm mm. just assuming that I haven't. All right, any ladies <laughs> out there that's ready to show Peniel what love is? <laughs> get on his Instagram and you know slide into his DMs one time. He's Please looking do for not love. slide into my DMs. Looking He's for looking love. for love. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Junie? When was your first love? Um, sixteen. Yeah, probably. Your first girlfriend? First girl- mm, not my first girlfriend, but like a serious relationship. Mm. Mm. Yeah. At 15? 16, 16. Oh, 16? Yeah. yeah. When did you have your first girlfriend? Oh, no, he said like first serious relationship. Oh, oh. Yeah. No, yeah, but I like, had my first serious relationship at 15. Yeah, you know, in high school. For six years. Yeah, that's like when your no. hormones oh. really start. It's for yeah. two years. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I was with her for, for I think like two, two or three years. <gasps> and then… When did you guys have your first kiss? Ooh. Mm. Shoot, I was 12. Oh, my first kiss was kind of cute. Yeah? Yeah. My yeah. first kiss was kind of dirty. But we're talking about like… <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, like kiss like a… Like a Not peck, like, like a, a peck. Like Yo, He took it there. He took it there. <laughs> he took it there. Is this actually going in? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so first kiss like… Or like a… Like a, like a real kiss. Like a make like out kiss. Like a deep kiss. kiss. It wasn't with my girlfriend, but I think I was 12 and <laughs> 13, no? or 13 at the time. And like, it was a girl I knew and her friend. And it was me and my friend. We went to the movies, right? Mm. And then like, it was, I think it was all of our first times making out. So like, <laughs> like it was him, it was him and his, and, 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 and the other friend that was a girl. And then me and then my friend that was a girl. And we were just like, during the movies, we're just watching a movie and then like 20 minutes into the movie, we're like eating each other's faces. And like it's a it's a completely new thing. I've never made out before in my life. Mm, I only saw right, it on right, TV right. and like only had imaginations of mm. it in my head, right? The first 20 minutes, we're eating our faces and the rest of the movie, we just we didn't even watch the movie. We were just making it. It was like a new world for me. I was what like, movie did you guys go watch? Shoot, I don't even remember. I didn't even watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't even watching it. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. It was wild, dude. Like, we were just like… I was. I, we would, I would take a break for a second. I'd look over and like… They're eating each other's faces. I'm just like… Damn. Like, Damn. making out is tight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. How, how… What grade are you in uh, if you're 12? If you're in 6th grade. grade. No, I mean… 6th like, grade, right? Like, no, no. 6th grade. Sixth grade is six, oh, when you're 12. Yeah, yeah. when you're 12 years old. 6th uh, grade is 12, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I was I was probably twelve or thirteen then. Okay, yeah. same as me then. Yeah, yeah. but oh. it was a, it's a funny story for me. It was because um. Let's hear it. Uh, we were on a field trip. You know, field trips. Right? Oh snap! On the bus. <laughs> was the field trip? You know, buses. You on know, you gotta be oh, in the back. Snap. So it was uh, my buddy. He has he had his own. You know, he had his girlfriend. And oh, then, okay. And oh, then it, I had my girlfriend. And then you know, I see them doing their thing. You know, and my hormones start kicking in. Yo. And I'm curious. Uh huh. And then you <laughs> she's like shocked right now. <laughs> how'd you instigate it? Huh? Like, how'd you like get it to that point? I was so like, I was, we're kids, right? I don't know. So I'm just like, you wanna try what to do? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but no, it, it doesn't end there, man. Like, okay, so. <laughs> so it looks fun. Do but, you wanna see? Yeah, like, exactly. Look what they're doing. But then <laughs> I totally get what he's saying because it's like a new world. It is. It's crazy, yeah. right? Oh, and then yeah. you just… Yeah, and then the teacher comes up. Oh, back of the bus. Snap. Everyone starts going quiet. And then he just comes up. And I'm like… And we just freeze like this. Dang. And he then, got caught. Yeah, and then he goes… And he's like, what are you guys doing? right? Uh-huh. What'd and you I'm say? like, well, they did it first. <laughs> <laughs> you read in the mouth. Yeah, the whole bus just started laughing. <laughs> like, mad laughing, right? And uh-huh. then, yeah. I, everyone started making fun of me about that. Like, the Dang. whole year. Yeah. That's cute. When was your first time? Mine mine was really late. I had my first kiss in sophomore year of high school. Oh wow. Yeah, because before then I w- I had boyfriends, but I was they called me prude. I was too prude ah, to do anything. Prude. So I was really shy. So they tried to make out with me, but I was always like I just had my mouth shut. <laughs> um <laughs> No, for real. <laughs> I didn't know how. I didn't know how to kiss. And You're I'm imagining so scared. it right now. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like, I was like, <laughs> she like, tar- uh, what's it called? Shut her lips real tight. Though. So, yeah, even though I had boyfriends in junior high school, whatever, it was always just like a peck. 
And then in sophomore year, I had my first real boyfriend. Uh-huh. And the first kiss was at like a train station, but it was like snowy. Oh, it was wow. snowy and it was just white mm. everywhere, but that's it was cute. cold. It was also cold. Uh-huh. And, in New um, York. Mm-hmm, he, was, he dropped me off. He was trying to drop me off home. So my I had a train station near my house. So we went there and then we just… Yeah. That's a movie. Kissed. We just kissed. Yeah. Who instigated it? Was yeah, it you? Of course you? he did. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. It's obvious. When you're obvious. that young. <laughs> when you're that young. Of course he did. <laughs> oh, no, some girls are very forward about that. Mm-hmm. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah. I just Shoot. wasn't. I, was I remember bad. who it was with, but I don't remember when. Dang. Uh, so both of you guys were bad. Yeah, it was. I think the ours best. were pretty, pretty good. Huh? Pretty good man. <laughs> Back on <the> bus. <laughs> yeah, in the movies. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. a new world. I don't remember like. When it was or where it was, I know like the general like time period, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. When. Mm. Okay. Oh man. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't remember his first love. He doesn't remember his first, first kiss. kiss. I don't think I had a first love. If I had a first love, wouldn't I remember it? I guess. Don't mm. they say you can never forget your first love? Yeah, they yeah, do say that. Yeah. yeah. So I guess Peniel didn't have yeah. his first love yet. Yeah. It's because I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, um, okay then. Let's go back to the first what? thing you do uh-huh. when you wake up in the morning. Ah. Okay. Well how to go from first thing. love to first thing you do when you wake up. Well, we can't I go open my eyes that. Ashley. I open my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> open my eyes. <laughs> Because I have like a very strict morning routine. Oh yeah. Alright, well then start us off. What is your routine? Well, I wake up and then I stretch my back Uh in bed. Um, How you stretch your back? You lay down and you like… Oh, like… like, right, right, right. right, right, That's healthy. Yeah. I do the child's pose. And then I get up. I brush my teeth right away. Well, before that, I check my phone to see if I got any messages. Mm -hmm. And I go brush my teeth and then I'll have a cup of water. Mm -hmm. And then… Yeah. Very healthy. Like the Very. only cup of water you drink the entire day. No, no, no. But I just make sure to have a full glass <laughs> oh, of water okay, okay. in the morning. To get your system running. System yeah, 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 yeah. No, I heard… Um, I don't know. I heard this a long time ago. So it might not be true. But I heard if you drink cold water in the morning… Mm-hmm. Uh, it like makes sure like… It speeds up your metabolism. And, yeah. No, it makes sure like intestines or something like shrink mm-hmm. in the morning. So then you poo like better in the morning. Oh. Really? I'm about to do that. I don't cold know if water. it's true. I don't know if it's true. I but never. It might not. I rarely drink cold water. Yeah, I I barely drink cold cold water. So yeah, warm. I thought cold water w- wasn't good for you. Yeah, but I did hear that in the morning it's good to have mm. a cup of cold water, but mm. it's cold. Do you guys know about the hot water? Like, if you drink hot water a lot mm-hmm. or, or like constantly, yeah, it warms up your intestines. Yeah, and then you don't get like you know like pookie. oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your skin gets thinner. Oh yeah, your skin gets thinner. Yeah, you know, Isn't like, that bad? No, like. Like you know the layer uh-huh. of like you know like if you pull what's pull there's a la- you bloat? Bloat. there's yeah. a layer of water between your skin mm. and your your muscles yeah oh. yeah so that like thins oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love drinking hot water maybe that's why you never blow so yeah. I get blow loaded I get I get blow loaded I get blow loaded I don't think I blow a lot yeah I don't think you blow but I don't drink a lot of hot water. You just maybe you just, you just hot don't. inside, hot inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Psst, oh, I feel it. <laughs> Do you guys have like a specific morning routine? Um, I wake up, check my phone. That's it. Yeah, wake up, check yeah. my phone. Hop in the shower. Yeah. Um, eat breakfast. Normal. Do you normal? Do you normal eat and then brush your teeth, or brush your teeth and then eat? I eat. I. I eat and then brush my teeth because I don't want my food to taste like… Yeah, right, right, yeah but right, that's right, bad, bad okay, for you okay. apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. I did hear… Or I mean… Isn't it like 30 minutes or something? Like Yeah, something like eat, that. Yeah. Why? It's like… Supposedly like the acids or something like yeah. from the food or like… I don't know. Oh. Like so like when you wake tea. up like you have something in your mouth. Yeah, because yeah, like, think about it. You slept and you, you probably yeah. have morning breath and there's all this yeah, bacteria. And then, and then you're eating the oh. food with it. But then if you brush your teeth and eat, it's you're, you're eating with a clean palate, right? Okay, sure. I'm going to have to switch on my routine then. Yeah, because even yeah. before I drink water, I have to brush my teeth because it feels icky. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. Like that or like at least like use like mouthwash. Mm-hmm. At Dang, least. okay. I brush and… Th- or what's it called? I 
I do a delivery mm-hmm. and then I brush and then by the time the delivery <laughs> food comes, oh. out of your mouth. The, the most scheduled yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> No, but oh, so, yeah, because the taste is out of your mouth by then. Do you guys like the, always have to eat breakfast in the morning? No. No. no right? Yeah. I mean, I used to. I used to as well, but um, not anymore. Yeah. In high school, I didn't. And then like trainee, like um, debut, like for a while, like breakfast wasn't that important. But mm-hmm. then uh, after I like started thinking about my health more, mm-hmm. uh, I, I used to start eating breakfast like every morning. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, I don't know, these days… I just like… I like wake up and I don't really eat anything until like I feel hungry. Right. And then I'll like order something to eat. Then what time do you guys go work out? I can't work out now. Well not right now but like <laughs> when, you, when you… Normally I, I like going to the gym on an empty stomach just cause right. like… I feel mm-hmm. more ripped after. Mm-hmm. So you usually go in the morning. I usually go in the morning. On an empty stomach. Yeah. And yeah. you do like a full strength workout. Hell yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. It doesn't phase me like other people say it. Like no, people yeah. are like, oh I don't have energy if I don't eat. And I'm just like… Oh no, I feel fine. It might be because like I adapt to it too though. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. Wow. I'll usually have like a… I'm gonna call it like a morning shake that I make. Mm-hmm. Usually that or I'll have like a sandwich maybe. Oh. Like just some carbs to like right. get me started. Mm. And then I'll usually work out and then come back. And then if I didn't have the shake then… I'll make like that shake and mm-hmm. then put like protein powder in there. Aww. Otherwise, I'll just come home and just make like protein powder with like water oh. or something. Anyways, yeah. what what's the first K-pop song you guys heard? I'm but sorry, what's K- I don't like, I don't remember where, this either. Where is where does it start? Like where does K-pop K-pop start? Like the first Korean song you heard, Korean first song. K-pop song you heard. You guys like probably won't even artist. know. I remember. You guys, you probably, do? Yeah. I remember Ooh. my, but I don't think you guys will know it. Who? Clones. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. The fact oh. that I know oh, that's oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Nan cool. Cool? Cool, yeah. yeah. I didn't know like until recently, mm-hmm. but my mom used to play cool a lot. Dude, the songs are so good, man. Yeah. My mom used to play a lot of that too. Yeah. And like Kim Gommo. Yeah. And all of that good stuff. <laughs> my <laughs> <Do you> know, <laughs> he's, he's like trying to think, like, I gotta say something. Uh. <laughs> Oh, cause I think my sister listened to K-pop a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Cause I remember I had a clone CD. Oh. Mm. And then I remember buying her a Drunken Tiger album. Ooh. So I know she listened to like some K-pop. So I'm pretty sure I probably heard mm. mm-hmm. like a little bit from her. And I remember we used to watch… Like uh, the VHS tapes mm. of like all the variety shows. So I'm sure I heard something on there. Dang. But you don't remember. But I don't remember. <laughs> when did you guys first get interested in K-pop? Uh, after Pinker. Pinker? Yeah. Mm. What about you? For me? I think like… I think Big Bang? Maybe? Big Bang? Yeah. Big Bang. Oh, so that's okay. for a lot of people. What about yeah. you? Um… I was never like super into K-pop. Mm-hmm. Um, I still listen to rock. <laughs> and then they didn't really like have rock. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I think… Yeah but like… Around like middle school to like high school… I kind of just started hanging out with my church friends more. And they were mm. all like Korean people. And they were listening to a lot of K-pop. So I just got a lot of K-pop songs from them. But… Uh, I don't know if I was like ever like… Oh like… I like this artist. I like this. Like I don't mm. know if I was ever like super into it. Mm. But… Um, I remember… I did like Big Bang. And I think I like 2PM. Mm. Mm. Okay. No wonder you went to JYP. Uh, I didn't know they were under JYP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who JYP like housed… Oh, when I went to audition, it. yeah, my friend just went and I was like, all right, cool. Like, I'm going to follow along. Oh, wow. And then I saw the posters and I was like, hey, isn't that the group that <laughs> I listened to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you, Matthew? Do you remember? I, I was… When I was super heavy in hip-hop and like just rap, my uh, one of my really close friends, he's, me and him were like with the only Koreans at our school. And we were we were driving one time and then… He put on Lee Sang. Mm-hmm. Ah. And I was like, oh, who is this? He's like, yo, these are the Korean rappers. I was like, Koreans rap? Like like this? 
Dang. <laughs> he was putting on Lee Sung and Drunken Tiger. Ooh. So I was like, oh, sh- Okay, Korean mm. rap is dope. That's when I first started getting interested and like downloaded my first um, Korean music. Mm. But um, when I really started getting interested was Taeyang. Mm. Taeyang Zambinian mm. Wedding Dress. Because everyone was talking about everyone it. Everyone was talking about that. Even all, even all the white boys. They were like, yo, really? Taeyang, Taeyang. Yeah. <laughs> the haircut. You the Korean Taeyang, <laughs> yeah. bro. Taeyang out of LA. What's up, bro? Like that was like my yeah. nickname at if one time. If you're an Asian dude, you're like Taeyang. <laughs> really? They yeah, call yeah, you yeah. Taeyang. I, I was already in Korea by then, so. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All my like oh my other God. ethnic friends were, were all like telling me, Oh, that's that Taeyang. Oh. Yeah. Like, Taeyang. Yeah, yeah. yeah Taeyang. Pretty tight, huh? Taeyang. Yeah. And then… Um, <laughs> Uh, after Taeyang was was more famous b- than Big Bang before, like back in the day, yeah. mm-hmm. like when Wedding Dress wedding came dress out, was big man. People knew the the name Taeyang before they knew Big Bang. Wow. Oh, your your friends probably knew it because you guys were all dancers, and then uh, Sean Everisto. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably why all your friends knew that's it. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah, actually yeah, right. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a huge year for yeah. That was big. That was smart move. You you know. Getting the choreography from them. Anyways. Um, and then… When I started really like digging into K-pop… What made me want to do it was J-Park. Mm. I saw him live one time. I was like, oh snap. I want to be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be that guy. Yeah. And that's why you started working out too? No. I been, I had been working out. Oh, you've time. been working out by then? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But <laughs> like when I saw like all the girls like swooning over him… Just like… Uh-huh. Huh. You know, like <laughs> but I'm just like, damn, like yeah, oh, I wanna be that guy. Yeah, I wanna be that <laughs> guy. I wanna, I, wanna, guy. I wanna make people do that over me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I remember I was uh yeah, I was a pretty big J Park fan when I like first debuted too. Yeah. Mm. Cause he was like the one of like the artists I could kind of relate to, like came from America and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He had that story. So I was like, yeah. oh okay. But do do you play any instruments? Yeah, I play guitar. Did you oh, ever have to like yeah. perform guitar in front of an audience? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in, really? in, high, in high school, I think. Yeah. Lucky. Oh. Yeah. It was guitar a, is also very sexy. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. not bad. Yeah, it's not acoustic bad. Acoustic guitar. Acoustic. Yeah, oh. but yeah, you can play any. If you play acoustic, you can play like electric. If you know the chords and stuff. But oh, then, yeah, yeah I, I played in high school at like a like a talent concert thing. Oh, did Ooh. you do well? Do you remember how you did? I, yeah, I, I think I won that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, first place. Yeah. What? When when but, did you first realize that you have a talent vocally, like a vocal talent? Uh, grade like one. Grade what? one, like, elementary. Like first grade. Yeah. Oh wow! Because like in elementary, you have a uh, choir class in my school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. choir class, right? And then don't we would they only s- teach you like do re mi? And then you, you sing <laughs> you sing songs like especially like Christmas concerts in elementary uh, school. Uh, uh, you have to sing like a a, a Christmas song. Did you right? have a solo? Yeah. Oh. So that's when I realized. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was doing them ad libs with that. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, Everyone's just like silent. Yeah. He's like silent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, it's yeah. partially it's yeah. partially true because because of my brother. Everything relates to my brothers. It's like. Mm. All my friends, like they don't have brother siblings that are old as mine, mm-hmm. so they're all used to. They're like they're just kids, right? Mm-hmm. But then I'm so influenced by my brothers that I'm listening. I'm as a little kid, I'm listening to what they're listening to, mm-hmm. right? And they're listening to like Brian McKnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and okay. all I, uh, like for me to sing like Doremi, it's like different now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like I'm like imitating. Yeah, he's doing yeah. runs. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like I'm not doing it properly, but I'm like imitating it. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So like, it looks like I'm sing- singing well. That, but at that age, even imitating that yeah, looks like, yeah. oh mm-hmm. dang, yeah, it's like, oh talent, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, the wow. teacher was like, Junior, come forward. I'm like, yeah, he's like, you're gonna do the solo for Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, shaking, a little I'm, like, shiny doing nose. This, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, <laughs> that was my first ever. Performing in front of people. You weren't right. nervous? I was nervous. Early. I was like shaking like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's then. early. That's very early. Mm. That's good. You discovered your talent very early. I yeah. don't even remember first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember it either. I just remember that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just remember like those little parts. 
Dang. I mean, we we had a lot of church skits and plays that mm. we did in Sunday school and even youth group. But I think the first major performance that I did was in sixth grade after Ihori's Ten Minute came out. Mm-hmm. So since I loved Ihori so much, I decided to dance to her song at my mom's company's end of the year, <laughs> what? Um, oh, like end of the year party. <laughs> Dang, so wild. she worked at a pretty big restaurant where they also hold parties for weddings and uh-huh. tour first birthdays and stuff like that. Right, so, right, right. All of the workers gathered together in this huge, um, what is it called? Yonejang kind of thing? What is that? Like a party room, right? Okay, okay, okay. And I wore my jazz like leotards and wow. I had to dance the 10 minute, but literally like 15 minutes before going up, I ran to the bathroom and I told my mom I couldn't do it. I was like, I don't think I can do it. Are you nervous? Oh. And she was like one of those stage moms. She was like, you have to do it. We, <laughs> we already prepared the stage for you. I told <laughs> everyone you have to do it. I told how everyone you're going to do it. How I told gonna everyone go how good you are at dancing already. <laughs> how are you going to go through life with this mentality? <laughs> <laughs> so I literally went up and I was it was the worst ever. Because I was just… I was dancing. I was doing the choreo. But I was looking down the entire time. Oh, and if no. it was just like… If it was like… Mm. Just one, right? I was like, just one ten minute. Like my energy, my moves were so small. I was like, just one ten minute. <laughs> <laughs> the entire hey, can we song. make this a gift right now? Like Yo, what she just did? <laughs> the entire song. And I was so embarrassed. And my mom was just like, she didn't say anything to me after. Dang. I was in sixth grade. And then that's when I was like, oh my god. I love dancing so much. But maybe I'm just not meant to be on stage. And I got really sad. Dang. And… Yeah. But I, I continued to dance. And I got over it eventually. But okay. for like the first two years even, I was sta- I had stage fright. Yeah. Dang. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I had stage fright my first couple auditions on K-pop. Sorry. Oh. I forgot my lyrics. That's song. huge. Wait, was, was that on the, the first, first performance you did? That was the first time I ever did anything vocally. Because oh. I was rapping and like… Like freestyling and doing whatever at like parties and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Garages. Like turning on <laughs> But I never held a mic before in my life. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, 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 okay. So I was like… You know, nor did I speak Korean. Right. So I kept forgetting my lyrics. Yeah, in, kinda... in, on K-pop star? On the stage, yeah. So but, Joy, yeah, it's yeah. such a big stage, man. It is. Oh. Yeah, it is. I almost… It's so intimidating. <laughs> huh? It's so intimidating. Yeah, there must have been is, so bro. many cameras and the, the three judges in front of you. Oh my like, gosh. Like JYP and YG. Like when I was done, they were like, how old are you? I was like 21. They were like, you have no hope for… Their, you have no… Like you're too late. What? They said that? Like, yeah. I think you're a little, they were like, I think you're a little bit too late to be on the stage right now. I was like, you're right. You're right. <laughs> 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 you're right. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait. Shut up. Shout out Boa one time though. She actually fought for me to stay on the show. Aww. Until wow. I until I had like a decent ex- a way to have exposure. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. Wait. Uh, I forgot what I was going to ask. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm> good, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was my first experience ho- holding a mic. That was nerve-wracking. Damn. Wait, so were those the three celebrities you met for the first time? Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually. Probably. Mm. The first celebrities you ever met? Oh, wow. No, no, no. I met a celebrity before, but it was like really short. I met uh-huh. the game at a gas station. Damn. You know what the game is? You know, you know what the game is? Yeah, dude. Like, In LA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at a gas station one time, right? And I was like gonna go pay money at, at, at the… At the… At the… Um, counter? At the counter. Right, right. And so then the right game there. just walks in. And I'm still tall at the time, right? But I'm looking at him like this. Mm. He's that tall? He comes in. He's like… I, oh, man, he 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 came in from the bathroom, and then he was he 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 got something, and he right when he called him, came in, and I saw him, I was like, "Game?" He was like, "So?" I was like, "Damn!" And he was like, he he gave the key back to the bathroom key back to the uh, dude. Uh-huh. He was like, "Oh my bad, bro! I almost walked out with your shit." <laughs> I was like, "Damn!" Damn. So cool. Wait, did yeah. you ask him for a photo or anything? No, I couldn't. Oh, I was oh. scared. He used to walk around like the 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 mall I used to go to. He used to go to Champs to get his teas. Uh-huh. And some of my friends had pictures with him. He's just throwing up his west side and like, oh man, the game is tight. I was like, yeah. oh, he was bald then. Like that was like 28-year-old, 27-year-old, the game, I think. <gasps> he was scary. He probably scary. he probably had a gun on him too at the time. Was that was <laughs> that when he was with like 50 Cent, like doing his thing with 50 Cent? I think it was a, around that time. During that time? It was around Doctor's Advocate. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. That was Damn, crazy. Man. I used to bump that all the time. 
yo, the game. That's so random though. He's I know. That was the first my so that was my random. first celebrity yeah. encounter. Yeah, who's your who's your first celebrity yeah, well, encounter? Yeah. Well, I lived in New York and they had a lot of Korean American concerts oh, during nice. Chuseok. So we always had a lot of Korean singers. Mm. And I think the first artist that I ever met was like MC Mong because he had wow. like a fan mm. signing and a concert. Oh, I think oh. Oh. And okay, okay. so I went to get a, uh, get my picture signed by him. And then mm. the first person I ever like met face to face and had a take, picture taken with was Fly to the Sky because they also came to New York one year for mm. a Chuseok festival. Mm. And I was fangirling so hard because I was a huge Hanhee fan. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, So he like had his arms around me and I was like shaking and I was like taking my picture like this. And yeah. I wish I still had the picture because I look like such a huge nerd. Uh -huh. Um, But I unfortunately don't have it anymore. But I remember the way he smelled. And he smelled what? really good. Oh, okay. I thought what? you were going to say smell really bad. I no, was he like, oh, okay, really okay, good. Yeah. okay, okay. And then we're like, I could do a dance for you. Just one time. <laughs> 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 Fly to the Sky it was um, with the Brian, Brian too. Yeah, Brian is apparently. Uh, I'm relatives with him. <gasps> what? Oh, what? But like, not like close relatives. But, but far distant like, cousins? Like distant cousins, cousins yeah. Cousins what? Or I, like I've never met him, but. That's what my dad Dang. told me. Oh. I guess the Does vocal thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Does vocals, he know man. that you're… Okay? Probably not. Hit him up. Be like, hey, what's up, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, the celebrity encounters, like, does does just going to a concert or like a show count as well? Anything. I mean, like, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, the first time you saw both, a celebrity. Yeah, what was yeah. like your first like concert and then the first time you actually met like face to face with the celebrity? My proper concert… I went really late. Like… Like I didn't go in high school or anything at all. Uh -huh. Like I, I remember my first proper concert was Dynamic Duo when they came to Oh Vancouver. yeah. Wow. That was the okay. best show I've ever seen. What like, year was that? Late. What year was that? Like 2017? 2017? Oh, oh, that's, oh that's, that's really recent. late. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. It was when they were promoting the… Their latest like… Uh, it was like… Oh, I forgot the was album it, name. Was it… I think, I think it was the 8th album. The ba BAM one? That's the seventh album. I think it's the eighth album they were promoting. With Nai Get Bill. Was that's the seventh that? album. Oh, that's the seventh album. Yeah. <laughs> the, eighth album. <laughs> the eighth album, it's. Damn, I Actually can't remember. looking it up right now? No? no. Oh, you're not? No, no, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, yeah. And then there were like. There were times when, um, when I was in. Obviously, when I was at a proper age to go to the club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of Korean artists came at the time. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. they show me the money. Like they yeah. did tours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like smart, small like Asian clubs, they would show up and do like a few shows. Mm -hmm. Word. And then the first one I went to was Palo Alto. Ooh, oh, yeah. I love Palo Alto, man. This this was crazy for me because when I saw him perform, and then it was like surreal because I was super close to him. Yeah. Like just watching him and yeah. like just trying to get his hand and stuff. And then I, I come a to song with him. And I come to Korea. And I got him on a feature. Whoa, that was like the best crazy. feeling ever. Yeah, yeah, that was the best feeling. Dang, yeah. that's a come up. Yeah. That's a come up. Yeah, so crazy. I remember that. Did you tell him? Did you ever tell him like, "Hey, I was like, no, I, I no, show. no, no, I, I couldn't. I, like, when every time I saw him, I only got to see him like twice, I think. Ah, uh, okay. But okay. then he was always like, like you know, just he was always a good vibe. The dude yeah. is just like good energy. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, yeah. Doing well, man. Just taking pictures together. Just, that's that's it. Up. But I don't have time to be like, Hey, I was your fan back in the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> true, true, yeah, true, I'm true. Try to keep my cool, but yeah. Okay, okay, that's okay. cool. Yeah. What about what about you guys? What celebrity? Yeah. Uh, huh? Did you already? Did you I already think Peniel yeah. didn't say. Excuse me. Pay Honey. attention. Oh no, yeah. no, you did. My Honey, yeah. <laughs> um, I think the first like concert I went to, do like retreats count? No. Okay. If, was that's there someone famous? Yet? Yeah, because I think, uh, yeah, there was like a there's like this band called Skrillex, or not? Skrillex. They came Skillet, to a Skillet, Skillet, oh, Skillet. I was like, wait, 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 Before we go on, before we go on, okay, okay. Everyone imagine Skrillex at a church retreat. Yeah, yeah, that's the best thing, man. Wait, 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 Oh, I've they were like a, I think they were like a Christian like rock band, oh. and they were at a certain retreat. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that counts as a concert, but they were there. Uh, I would my say that first, counts. Mm -hmm. My first like actual like concert concert like where I went, it was like because I was into rock. My friends told me about like a Korean rock band named Crying Nut. Mm. And oh, then, um, yeah. Yeah, they like came through to Chicago, so I was like, oh shoot, all right, like I'll go check them out one. So I think that. I think that was the first concert I went to. Mm. Oh. Um, I'm actually not sure. I think, <laughs> I think so. And then… Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh no. 
No. No. Huh? Go on. You sure? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't remember my first celebrity encounter. Was it in Korea uh, or was it in Chicago? Myself yeah. in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, uh, it was probably Korea. I don't think I met anyone famous in America, mm. from what I remember. Probably um, when you went to JYP, no? When you met the JYP artist? It was artists? probably them. Mm. It was probably them. But you guys are from the States. Like, don't you… Maybe it's just a… Like a… Thing that… Like imagine… Like what? what is it? Like I just thought that you guys would see a lot of celebrities. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm from the suburbs of Chicago. Or yeah. From like the suburbs of Chicago. I mean Chicago. Chicago is like… Yeah, but Pretty they're they're usually like in the city then. Right, right. I'm, right, I'm right. in the suburbs, but so they're not really. You're from LA. Yeah, yeah, and you're from New York. Yeah. So, like, you've never seen a celebrity there? Or? You've well, probably like, seen a lot, in, like just in 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 an encounter. Yeah, I met the game once. Besides the game, I think. Shit, I'm trying to see. I did no, see someone in Macy's in New York, but I forgot who it was. It was a famous <laughs> female singer. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that, that, that narrows it down <laughs> so much. <laughs> 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 Why well, do you think? I, well, I can't remember. But um, I remember I ran into John Claude Van Damme at the airport. Wow, wow, <laughs> these are so random. Yeah, I mean, you don't Super see random. celebrities as often as you would think. Yeah, unless right? you, you know, are, 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 I was a kid, so mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't be at like high end places, you right? Know what I mean? But if you if you kick it at like high end places or like go like designer stores, you might run into a couple. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the game, that's that's the closest I was. I was in L. A. too. We were in like, I wasn't in, in like um you know a, a dangerous part of the city, but yeah, I was tight though. <laughs> game, what's up? I was like, <laughs> that's what's up. Well, that key said, thing was hilarious. You said that out loud though. Yeah, he like, said it out loud. Game? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's I, so I, I didn't even say the game. I was just like, I wanted to say like, like say something where it like made me seem like I know him uh-huh. and like yeah. made me seem tight with him. Yeah. So I took out the the. I was like, game. game? That's a good like, move. In my head, I was just like, that's probably what his homies yeah. call him. Yeah. Like, what's up, game? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Game. <laughs> he was like, what's up. <laughs> He's probably he was probably West really Saeed? used to getting recognized. Huh? He was probably really get used to getting recognized. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Cause oh. he, he was like he 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 kicked it around my city a lot. Oh. Yeah, that was so dope. Okay, I think we have some of our dear listeners with questions mm. on Discord. Uh user Arily MF says, How is it for you when you learn new stuff? Do you get frustrated, leave it, but go back to it after a while? If you go back, what makes you keep going? It happens to me when I try to draw or learn a new language. I refuse to take notes even when I have notebooks. What? I think really it really depends on what the new stuff is. If it's something I enjoy, then I'm very passionate about it. But if it's something that I'm not really feeling, I just kind of like leave it behind. Right, yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know. For school, you know, you have to, you like have to learn. Or I don't know. Maybe not every school, but I think most schools you have to learn a second language, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I remember like, uh, mine was Spanish. Mm. I didn't really like want to learn at the time, mm-hmm. like in the beginning. But like after a while, like it got fun. But like in the beginning, um, how I did it was, uh, the school actually like, taught taught us this but it was like you make like three lines like let's say it's a language you make three lines on a notebook paper um so it's like divided equally into three and then you write i think it was like um oh yeah it was like spanish english spanish and then you have to like remember you you like fold it each time uh you fold like one side Mm -hmm. and then you try guessing like what the word is and you like write it down and Ah. you fold it again and so yeah. Uh. So like the first time it'll just be like the Spanish and English and then you have to try to remember what the Sp- the Spanish word is in English. Mm-hmm. And then the second time you fold like the left flap mm-hmm. so then it's only the English and then you have to try to remember what the Spanish word was for it. Oh, that's a good and method. Then, um, yeah. yeah, so it's just like fold right flap and then fold the left flap. But um that actually helped me like memorize a lot of words. Wow. Yeah. Boom. There's a method for you if you're trying to learn a new, a new language. Yeah. yeah. You know, on your vocabulary. Mm. Um, Learning a new language. I mean, there's… I think um, watching really helps too. Like watching… Like dramas. And dramas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Watching. 
you have to actually use it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, cause for me, when I improved Korean, it was pretty much like you. I had no one around me that could speak English, so, yeah, so it was like yeah. a means of survival, pretty much. It like, <laughs> yeah. It's like I had to, and then yeah, it's just like if everyone around you just speaks the language that you're trying to learn, yeah, you just yeah, yeah. It's because you yeah, you definitely. you get you get the um, it's not just about the words; it's about how you say it too. Yeah, like context. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's like it's always there, like especially like it's expressive, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I I became more Korean that way. Mm, definitely mm-hmm. helps. Like I could, yeah. Having also, a Korean significant other. Oh too. yeah, that's what I was going to oh, say. Oh yeah, because my brother spoke no Korean at all. Until and he all met... of a sudden he met a Korean Korean Ooh. girlfriend. And then he started kakaing me in Korean. Wow. And I was like, what did you learn to write in Korean? And he was like, my girlfriend. And I was like, wow, that's the yeah. ba- best way that's to learn. Up. Yeah, because like, I could… I could like speak a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't write at all. But then… After my first uh, girlfriend in Korea, mm-hmm. I'm like trying to text with them, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to talk to them. I'm like trying to text, and like I'm just getting everything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but like they would always like fix it. Uh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. okay, that's how you spell K. And then I, I would like remember that, and then oh, I would like yeah, yeah. And my I'm, spelling got a lot better because of that. Yeah, I mean to answer the question, I think I mean not only for language but anything in general that you want to try learning for the first time. The biggest thing I think is. Um, you have to have interest in it. Some type mm. of for interest. Sure. Exactly, in it. For yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have interest in it, it's just going to be boring to you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can relate to this user because especially when it comes to art or anything art related, mm-hmm. I have no artistic skills whatsoever. <laughs> but I do kind of need it because I need to create graphics for my YouTube video sometimes mm. or even create thumbnails. But right. okay, I, okay. I just suck. So I start it and I'll be like… Oh my god, there's no hope. And I'll give up for it. I'll give up on it for a while. Okay. And I'll try to look for inspiration like on Pinterest or like mm. YouTube or mm-hmm. Instagram. And then I'll try to go back to it. But it's always like a battle. Because right, I'm like, right, oh, right. I have to do this. But yeah. I suck. Like, am I going to get better? <laughs> I don't think so. But I have to keep on trying. But after like drafts, after drafts, after drafts, I finally do end up with something mm. that I'm like, yeah. okay, this will be… Okay, but I'm but never fact, like a hundred percent satisfied. The fact that you keep trying is because you like you like to do it, right? Or you is it necessary? Is is it because it's necessary? Yeah, I think it's because it's necessary. More of that than yeah. like you really like it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's, it's like yeah. that compared to like a boring thumbnail, right? Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, you want something. Which better. one would you click on? Yeah. yeah, bro, clickbait. You gotta. And my thumbnail right now, they are, they're not even that impressive. I just take a screenshot and write something over it. But oh, really? I see all these you know YouTubers who have. Really creative, pretty like rainbow, thumbnails. rainbow backgrounds. Dang. You know those, like you know those thumbnails that are like like all colors, like a bunch of colors in the thumbnail. No, shoot, no, and I there's like seen nothing like and, that. And their crazy, face, though. their faces are like super like expressive. You don't see those? Oh, okay, okay, I, I, I know. Are, what you're like, about. Yeah, most of the viral videos about. videos are like that. These I know days. what you're talking about. Like the thumbnails are weird now. <laughs> yeah, they, I Wait, know. What? <laughs> Things are getting weird. We're getting a little off yeah, okay, topic, yeah, but yeah, the, world, yeah, yeah. the world is getting weird. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, <yeah>. my bad. <laughs> okay, one option is uh, to do what she does. Like try, take a little break, mm-hmm. find some inspiration, inspiration, go back to it. No, all right, take a little break again. Yeah. get back to it. Mm-hmm. Um, for like a language, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta repeat for a language. Yeah, I think. you just gotta yeah. keep repeating. You gotta keep using it. Um, so you can never be good from the first time. Yeah, yeah. That's even just, with dancing, like you weren't good at dancing from the beginning. Were yo, you? I just wa- I recently watched my high school dance video. Oh my god, me too. I, used I just to watched suck. it yesterday. I was so stiff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so. was like, why did I choreograph it like that? <laughs> so practice makes perfect. Of course, right. you're not going to be good from your first try. From yeah. the get go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so unfortunately, that's all the time we have for mail time today. But hang in there, Airely MF. You can do it. Um, and yeah, we have to say goodbye now. Make sure to stay updated on our show through our Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. And full episodes will be on youtube.com slash divepods. Mm-hmm. Once again, please subscribe to and review this podcast. And you. thank you for joining us. Thank you, Junie, for joining thank us. You, thank, you, thank you, Thank all you. All right. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. Real quick, before we finish this episode. Bon if you guys haven't caught the Bond Saints <laughs> tea, it's run by one of my best friends, Drew. It's for a good cause. It's dope. It's nice. Cop it. It's... 
Oh, then this is too. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> how, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Dude. Matthew is the best supporter. N-I-E-E-H. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye, peace. Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button and make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts.